Scarlett Johansson does not want to be the focus of attention in those extremely precious pregnancy moments, as she has decided to hide both times she has been pregnant and many wonder why. Welcome to Film Sprinter, and in this video, we'll see why Scarlett Johansson hid her pregnancy. Between 2014 and 2021, the two-time Oscar nominee vanished from public view, leaving millions of fans in the dark. They wanted to visit her during the process, but she refused because she is overly cautious. Unfortunately, her second pregnancy occurred in the midst of a scandal as Scarlett sued Disney for the premiere Black Widow, claiming that the premieres of the picture were not those agreed upon in the contract. Scarlett Johansson files a lawsuit against Disney, and the business reacts. According to the Associated Press, the famous actress sued the Walt Disney Company over the streaming debut of Black Widow, claiming that it broke her contract and deprived her of possible earnings. The Black Widow heroine and executive producer claimed in a complaint filed Thursday morning in Los Angeles Superior Court that her contract guaranteed an exclusive theatrical distribution. The Wall Street Journal broke the story first. According to the Associated Press, Scarlett Johansson's potential earnings were related to the film's box office performance, which the business released simultaneously in theaters and on its streaming service Disney+, Plus, where it can be rented for $30. In the months preceding up to this action, Miss Johansson gave Disney and Marvel every opportunity to make up for their error and fulfill Marvel's commitment, according to the lawsuit. Disney purposefully induced Marvel to break the agreement without justification in order to prevent Miss Johansson from reaping the full advantages of her Marvel contract. Disney did not reply immediately to a request for comment, but issued a statement criticizing the famous actress, labeling her cruel and indifferent. After being delayed for more than a year due to COVID-19, Black Widow set a pandemic box office record of $80 million plus $78 million when it opened three weeks ago, but gross cinemas dropped substantially after that, according to the Associated Press. The National Association of Theater Owners published a rare statement opposing the tactic during its second weekend. According to the group, the simultaneous distribution only resulted in losses and higher quality piracy. Hybrid releases in theaters and on streaming sites, which were previously unheard of, have grown more common since the epidemic. When each of the major studios chose its own strategy, Disney will do the same with Jungle Cruise this weekend, while Warner Bros. Dutch Big Budget Blockbuster, The Suicide Squad, will debut in both cinemas and on HBO the following weekend. AP unveils Max. Hybrid launch plans examined over the last 16 months have resulted in public squabbles not only from theater owners, but also from performers, producers, and financiers dissatisfied with prospective revenue loss and alleged one-sided decision-making. According to the WSJ, Warner Media paid more than $200 million in modified accords with performers as a result of its choice to debut its whole 2021 movie program simultaneously in theaters and on HBO Max. No dispute, however, has been as public as Scarlett Johansson's. After word of the lawsuit leaked, the actress, who has worked on nine Marvel films since 2010's Iron Man 2, rapidly became a trend on Twitter. Johansson, who filed the complaint in a Los Angeles court, has stated that the deal he had with Disney for the making of Black Widow guaranteed an exclusive theatrical distribution. He also stated that his pay was contingent in great part on the film's box office success. According to Ev, the actress and producer of Black Widow stated that there was a promise from Marvel that the film would have an exclusive theatrical release. Disney was well aware of this commitment, but yet instructed Marvel to break their pledge and instead broadcast the film on Disney, plus the same day it was released in theaters, according to the lawsuit. Disney purposefully induced Marvel's breach of contract without justification. The complaint continues, in order to prevent Johansson from reaping the full advantages of his Marvel arrangement. During her pregnancy, the actress disappears from public view. She started her career in 1994. During an interview, Johansson stated that she has decided to hide during her gestation processes in order to avoid criticism, particularly from those close to her, who can be the hardest. 
We don't always appreciate how much strain we place on pregnant women. Being pregnant has always been a wonderful thing for me, but there have also been some negative aspects to it. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. What are your views about this? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.